last time we talked about what corresponding angles are, alternate interior, alternate exterior, and the uh, consecutive interior. Now, when we have two lines cut by a transversal, those four options come into play. However, if those two lines are parallel, something special happens. So first, corresponding angles, or the angles that match each other in location, are congruent, meaning their values are equal. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are congruent. And the last one is same side interior or the consecutive interior are supplementary. Remember, supplementary means they add to 180 degrees. So let's take a look at this set of questions. So, once again, it is going to be dealing with highlighters. I really do recommend having your highlighters out with you. So, for the first one, how are all angles congruent to angle 4? Well, here's angle 4. Looking at this diagram, I see angle 2 is a vertical angle. It's across from it in that single intersection. Vertical angles are always congruent. So angle 4 has to be congruent to angle 2. I also notice that angle 4 is in the bottom left of that intersection. So matching it below in the bottom left would be angle 5. So angle 5 and angle 4 would be congruent because they are corresponding angles. Another one that would be congruent would be angle seven. Angle four and angle seven are alternate interior angles. They're both inside of the parallel lines, but on opposite sides of that transversal. I we come back to this one in a moment. Middle one, color all angles congruent to angle Well, taking a look at it, I see angle L is directly across their vertical angles, so they have to be congruent. Angle Q has to be congruent because, once again, they're inside of the parallel lines on the opposite side of that transversal, so we're alternate interior angles. And I know angle T has to be congruent because angle P and angle T are corresponding angles. Take a moment to do the third one. All angles congruent to angle nine. Angles that are congruent to angle nine would be angle six, they're vertical angles. Angle 11, they're corresponding angles. And angle eight, they are alternate exterior angles. Now notice that there is a pattern to these. You can see it a little bit clear on the first one in green, but they make a zigzag pattern. Where we went, I made a zigzag. We made a zigzag. We make a zigzag. So when you set these problems up, it would probably be easiest before we start anything to make our zigzag pattern. That is going to help us in a couple ways. One, it will help highlight which angles we are talking about, so we can kind of identify the angle pair relationships. 
but it'll also help us figure out are these relationships congruent? So do we set them equal? Or are they supplementary, meaning do we have to add them together and set it equal to 180 degrees? So, if they're the same color, they're the same value. Same color, same value. Different color adds to 180. So let's look at a problem about this. I see parallel lines and a transversal. So before I even read the problem, I'm going to highlight my zigzag. There is a zigzag, and sometimes it's helpful to have another color to color in our opposite zigzag. Now we'll read the problem. It says, identify all angles equal to 120 degrees. So I'm going to scan my problem, find 120. Well, that's in the top left in green. So I know all of my green angles have to be 120. So that's angle 4, angle 5, and angle 8. Angle 4 is a vertical angle to the 120. Angle 5 is corresponding angle to that 120. And angle 8 is alternate exterior angle for that 120. Example two, I see two parallel lines. Once again, I know they're parallel because of the red arrows. So I highlight my zigzag. There's one zigzag. Here's my opposite. So now we're gonna read the problem. It says find the value of x. Well, looking at it, I see the 115 is in yellow, the x plus 5 is in green. They're different colors. So that tells me they add up to 180 degrees. So I know x plus 5 plus the 115 equals 180. To solve, I'll combine like terms. So x plus 120 equals 180. Subtract 120 from both sides. We get x equals 60. So same color, same value, different colors add to 180. In fact, the relationship that is shown here would be the same side or consecutive interior angles. Example three. Given the measure, well, before I even read, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to do my zigzag. I'll do my opposite zigzag. Problem says, given measure of angle one equals 105 degrees, which I will write that down for angle one. Find the measure of angle four, measure of angle five, and measure of angle eight. State the theorem used in each case. So first it says measure of angle four. Well, angle four is down here, same color as the 105. So it also has to be 105, same color. The relationship, I'm going to write angle 1 congruent angle 4, because of vertical angles. Next one says is angle 5. Well, that is in green also, so it has to be 105. 
So I know angle one is congruent to angle five. They're in the same location. So corresponding angles. And then it says measure of angle eight, also in green. So that's 105. So I know angle one congruent to angle eight because of alternate exterior angles. They're both on the outside of our parallel lines, opposite sides of that transversal. Sample four. Kind of hard to see. I'm going to draw over my picture, making our parallel lines. Kind of extended. And there is our transversal. According to the problem, when sunlight enters a drop of rain, Different colors of light leave the drop at different angles. This process is what makes a rainbow. For violet light, the measure of angle 2 equals 40. What is the measure of angle 1? Well, angle 2 is there. Angle 1 is there. So the relationship between them would be alternate interior angles. And we know alternate interior angles are congruent. So that means measure of angle 1 has to equal 40. Because alternate interior angles. Look at example five. There's no text in this one, so I'm going to automatically highlight my zigzag. And my opposite one. Go ahead and take a moment and try to set up this problem. I know in this problem, the 44 and the 7x plus 9 are the same color, so they're the same value of 7x plus 9 equals 44. To solve, I'll subtract 9 from both sides. So 7x equals 35 divided by 7, x equals 5. Go ahead, take a moment, and try to set up what, example 6. So if I highlight my zigzag, they are the same color. So I can write my equations by setting them equal. So 21x plus 5 equals 23x minus 5. I'm going to get rid of the smaller x first. We'll subtract 21x from both sides. So 5 equals 2x minus 5. Add 5 to both sides. So 10 equals 2x. Divide by 2. 
x equals 5 or 5 equals x. Now we would be done with the problem, except it also says then find the angle measure. Meaning we need to plug the 5 into one of these angles. I'll plug it into the 21x plus 5. 21 times 5 plus 5. So 21 times 5 would be 105, plus 5 gets us 110. And we know all of our green angles then are 110. To get our blue angles, or our yellow angles, I'm using blue, different colors mean they add to 180 degrees. So you can think to yourself, 110 plus what gets you 180? That would be 70. So all of our yellow angles have to be 70 degrees.